this is Christine with Coco Daisy and today I wanted to share with you a super fast, super easy way to uh, create a, a little album using the Simple Dory that we have. We sell it separate or it comes in a, our Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And this is, I was running a little behind. Uh, normally, and I can show you this one for instance, normally for um, each month I create a mini album using the Simple Dory and our Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And I I tend to, um, you know, kind of have a little bit more embellished layouts in that, and I enjoy that. They're usually simple in style, but I do enjoy um, kind of layering and stuff like that. But I was not able to do that for August. August, I was a little behind. I needed to kind of hurry up a little bit. But I still wanted to capture those memories. I still wanted to get them recorded. So what I wanted to do was, was come up with a way that was quick and easy. And I was really happy with how this turned out. So I thought I'd share it with you. What I did is I used my Instax and I printed out a bunch of just Instax photographs. I grabbed uh, my pocket note cards. You can buy these separately um, or you can they come in the pocket memory keeping kit. And these are great for titles. They're fun for journaling. Um, a lot of different ways that you can use these. And I'll show you what I did with those in here. And then I just grabbed some of the stickers that I had, some of my sticker sheets, um, some alpha stickers, and then some of our die cuts. I wanted to mention too, because this is, some of you are not aware of this. Our die cuts are adhesive backed. So you can peel the backing off and stick them down. You don't have to use a glue stick on these anymore. So that's just a little side note. So what I did is, I, and you'll see there's about three layouts in here actually that um, are a little more detailed. Those were done for the instruction sheet. So just not to, I don't want to throw you off that you'll see those in here. Those are for the instruction sheet that I create for the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit each month. It comes in the kit and it's a great little jumping off point. It shows you how to, um, to do the layouts step by step. And if you missed out on any of those, we do list those instruction sheets for sale in our digital download section of the store. So if you want, it comes with a sketch and then two um, two step-by-steps for two layouts. So that's kind of a neat thing to do if you're new to using a traveler's notebook. It's a, It would be a fun tool to use, but again, it also comes in the kit each month. So I'm just gonna show you what I did here. This is August. And basically what I did is I used the pocket cards for, um, for titles, mostly in here. You'll see what I did, it was, it's kind of the same thing. There's a, the pocket card for a title, photo, little hand journaling, and a few embellishments, and that's it. I loved the papers this month, and um, I, I kind of wanted to let them shine. They were bright and beautiful and summery, so I didn't really cover them up too much. I would add a little bit to them. And again, you'll notice like I he, on here, you don't have to use every single page. If you're low on time, don't feel like you have to use every page. You can glue them back to back or you can cut them out even. So I just added a sticker. There again is, is one of the pocket cards as a title, photograph, and a phrase sticker. And then this one, um, I used um, a couple of items actually from the September kit, the glitter stars and the cute little uh, sticky notepad. And that's another thing when you're doing this, you can just kind of go through your stash and grab a few things that you think are gonna work. I created kind of a subtitle with this one too. So we have the title with the, with the uh, pocket card and then the subtitle with just some stickers. Here again, this one, um, I love this little saying and the, I, the font was so pretty. I thought it went really cute with my little planter. And then I liked that I was able to stamp the, uh, the date on that as well. This is one of those layouts I was talking about that was on the instruction sheet. So it's a little bit more detailed. I have fun with, I have fun creating those for the instruction sheet. Those are a lot of fun. I kind of push my creativity because each time I want to try and think of a new way to show you how to use the product. So that's a lot of fun for me. And then again, I used actually um, a note card on here, but I used two of them. I layered one for uh, the border just to kind of give it a little bit of color. And then there's um, as a title again, this was just a, um, a little sticker from one of the, I think it was in the memory keeping sticker kit. I liked how it carried that color across on this page a little bit. This is another one that was from my instruction sheet. And then this one is nice because the, the title 
is actually already printed on the page. And we try to do that with at least one page in the booklet each month. And then I add a little tag with um, a little bit of the information and the date on there. Here was another one from the instruction sheet. Had some fun stamping on that. And then that's it. So you can see I kept it really simple. I didn't have every page in the, in the, um, in the booklet for the month, but I did get the main stories down that I wanted to. And I would say it honestly, maybe an hour, hour and a half, and I was able to, to get that done. So it's a fun way to sit down, quick do an album and get things recorded and you have your whole month all done and recorded. Mm -hmm.